Hello guys and welcome again. Today's topic is going to be a little different than what I normally do. So what I'm gonna do, I am gonna divide my sessions into three different type of uh, things that I wanna kinda get into now. One is kinda like covering a little bit of news so that it has more context of what I'm talking about, followed by a topic, followed by maybe a demo. Um, demo may or may not always be possible. So I'm trying to basically bring together like a lecture type of university lecture type of format. So this way, right, we are not only relevant um, in our information that we are getting, but at the same time, it's actually backed by something like that is actually has a practical application alongside with it. So let's get started. So today is September 28, 2020. And the biggest news today is Mr. Trump probably paid less in federal income tax than average middle class American. Okay. So this topic is very interesting to me. Um, I am not politician, neither do I want to be one. I am uh, simply a person who wants to right, save money, but at the same time, I don't want to rip anybody off. I pay tax. I am, um, you know, uh, you know, this is, I'm not a Republican, Democrat, or any other party. I like to think I like to support on issues. And if somebody is doing what they're supposed to, and that's who I give my vote outside of that. So I thought this was a very interesting topic. Why did Mr. Trump pay less tax? Or why do let's say rich people pay tax, right? The first thing that it came in my mind when I heard, I was very angry, okay? This is just my personal thought. Like, I'm paying more taxes. I mean, every week, I mean, every two weeks when I get my pay paycheck, I have about, uh, you know, more than $1,000 of my paychecks goes as part of my taxes, right? Part of it goes to federal, part of it social security, and so on, right? And that's a, uh, a lot less the New York Times claiming that he, Mr. Trump only paid $750. I do not know what right, this Mr. Trump is claiming. Is it fake news or is it not new? Uh, is it real, right? But either way, right, let's say he paid whatever X amount, but it's still, if let's say if this wasn't true, let's say some somebody else, right, compared to me as a W2 employee and a versus uh, my employer. Well, not employer like a businessman they would pay a lot less tax compared to me the reason behind it is because the US government or any government um, especially the ones our Western nation ones they give a lot of incentive um, for these businesses to go and create jobs right the way businesses create job by like they employ people like me who are highly specialized in certain areas or less specialized for example my family owns a restaurant and uh, right there's those jobs does not require years and years of studying after a certain amount of time you people normally pick it up very quickly and you just do the same thing over and over again until you change the recipe right either way they are creating jobs so my dad paid a lot less tax than me okay so here's uh, today's news that i wanted to make sure that people were aware this is history.com I came into America in 2004 at that point I, I took I've taken quite few history classes especially American history because right I came to this new country and I really wanted to learn everything about it because um, if if you go in any country right if you don't know anything you don't have you don't know where that country or where do you belong so I felt I, I like history um, in sort of I think there are stories uh, but anyway so Boston Tea Party right at the time in 19, uh, 1773 uh, this is well over 200 years now almost Boston Tea Party they basically what happened is that um, America at that point used to be colony right um, or they used to be part of Britain 
So they established a colony throughout eastern part of, um, especially Massachusetts and um, a couple other colonies. So Britain were in, they fought a war and they needed money, basically. So they looked to their, basically, um, their, uh, their colonies and they were like, how can we fund pay for this thing? And they proposed series of basically taxes, okay? So here's the, basically what it says in, nine, in 1760, British was deep in debt. British Parliament imposed series of tax says on American colonists to pay, help pay for those debt. First was a Stamp Act. Stamp Act is like something like, imagine this right here, this piece of paper, right? It's not just a stamp. Anything that was literally printed and you can write on it, you had to pay tax. Um, and the next one was Towns, Towns, Townshend Act, um, 1767. That's where the most of the problem happened, basically. This tax was essential goods, uh, such as paper, paint, glass, and tea. And uh, basically, long story short, the merchant, um, called Sons of Liberty. They were a bunch of basically merchant. They didn't like this um, because they were started to hurt their bottom line. And they basically, you know, there were some famous people like Benedict Arnold, Patrick Henry, Paul Zivier, as well as Adam and Hancock. But all these people basically said, hey, look, we don't want to pay it. And eventually what came out of this entire conclusion was the Boston Tea Party, that's what they call it, and America does not want to pay taxes. So that's the kind of founding basis of America, United States of America, right? So this kind of um, thing has led America to kind of growth, right? But here's the thing, in modern society, if you do not pay tax, if citizens do not pay tax, then nothing's happened such as road, I mean, bunch of other economical good that we take granted for, especially in the first world country. I come from third world country, right, India. The, a lot of people don't pay tax, therefore our infrastructure is lacking over there versus here. So you can see that. So that's the kind of news around it. So the topic, right, is how is it that rich people pay less taxes? So who are rich people, right? It's not that uh, people who are working nine to five jobs, yes, they get rich, but they never get so rich, like billions, billionaire, trillionaire. Uh, those people are business or entity or they are running some type of organization. So that's uh, basically, those are, in my mind, those people are wealthy and the rich people are one or two million, three million, 10 million, couple of millions, right? These are rich people, but really they they on their way to become like literally, rich people like um you know billionaire club that's what i call truly rich but you know people like us right if we have even one million we consider ourselves rich because they're uh, just um a lot of money so how do they pay less tax let's look at irs website right anytime there's a business startup cost they can depreciate that time over time business asset and improvement and then anything else that business related activities. So for example, Mr. Trump owns a lot of golf course, right? Or hotels and stuff. Pandemic happened and a couple of years before he hasn't been really like paying a lot of tax and stuff, right? He's claiming one part of business is doing poorly. Therefore he has to pay out of his pocket, right? And that's what businesses do. Same thing with my dad, right? My dad, the days that are slow at my rest, uh, at the family restaurant, we don't make money, so we have to cover the expenses. There are quarters that we are, we pay more in taxes, but there are quarters that we are, we can claim those losses, so our tax goes down. So that's kind of the idea, okay? Um, so the practical application to this is a book I'm gonna give you, because this book is really the first book anybody who wants to be financially independent or start thinking about that, or because most of us, right, not thinking about taxes, right? 
what we actually think of is like we go to high school or college after that we are literally thinking of um, we get that amazing job that pays a lot of money and then hopefully you know uh, you find someone and then build a family right and that's kind of the idea behind it but uh, after a while you start to think oh my god where my money is going right those things usually is business somebody who's doing businesses they are the one who think about how can they save money so if if you're not in business um, I don't think if you're watching my YouTube channel you're a business person because if that is the case you would not you would have already had these skill set let's put it that way um, taxes and largest right this is Robert Kiyosaki uh, basically website richdad.com he said rich pay very little in income taxes because they don't earn their money as employees do okay they know the best way to legally avoid taxes is by generating passive income out of right side of cash flow quadrant and investing okay tax law is written to reduce your taxes in the US for example there are over 5,800 pages of tax laws okay only about 30 pages are devoted to rising taxes one line section 61 says except as otherwise provide in this subtitle grows so you can read it on your own right but one thing that Robert does really well in his um, rich dad poor dad is explaining how our money comes from so those of you if you have not read it I would highly recommend you to grab a copy they are on audible if you're a lazy reader like me please read that um, you'll or you can YouTube it and read about it right you can just just find go to library find a copy but here's that cash flow quadrant that he talks about this really today I was sitting after I read the news it's like literally my eyes just open up. I'm like, oh my God, this is literally what Rich Dad talked about. How, I mean, as a business people, how we should be thinking and how we don't pay, pay much tax. Right? As an employee, this is where I am. I am paying taxes, right? First thing, uh, that's, and then self-employed, that's kind of like small businesses, that's my dad, right? And then we have business owner, right? you own a system that generates that's like uh, big businesses and then basically what I want to be I want to be an investor right um, by let's say real estate and stuff those are investors if you can figure out and you don't have to do a lot of passive income type of things well they give you passive income you're not actively involved you just give the money so that's kind of the idea okay but um, yeah so let's look at it right here's employee job time my time equals this much money right you look at the screen self-employee times equal this much money okay no leverage we don't have really leverage but here is a business owner right there's people leverage right and back in time if, if some of you want to imagine this right you would have if you needed a loan you would go to pawn shop and you would give them something valuable and you could take out a loan against it it is still true but if you are young and you don't know this or you never experience it right that's kind of the leverage concept you pay a little bit money and uh, leverage is in nowadays is basically you pay a little bit money to let's say bank and in turn you finance a whole chunk of other things and thus your small amount of money is allowing you to get in something a lot more and you know that allows you and this is where investor is yeah I think the pawn shop example was a bit off but that's only cash only type of economy that would work okay so that's where the rich old Mr. Trump is so he's leveraging his passive income that's kind of why he's paying less taxes so in sh so short right um, alright guys I hope uh, you found this was interesting let me know how you guys like the format